just created a plugin that will completely change the way you do split screens in Final Cut Pro. Traditionally, to do a split screen in Final Cut Pro, we would select our shot. We would go over here to this down arrow, select the crop tool, which you can also achieve with Shift C. I'm gonna click and drag this corner and we can just kind of slide this over where we want that sun. After that, we would come back down and select the transform tool. You can do that with Shift T and we would move this into place. So let's say we want it in the top left corner. Then after that, we'd just do that with the following shots. So Shift C, let's go ahead and crop it to where we want it. Then let's select this next shot, Shift C, we can crop it down. Maybe I'm not happy with that placement. So let's go ahead and actually get it the shape of the box that I want right in there. Shift T to get the transform tool. And we'll slide that over. And last but not least, we don't even need to crop this last shot because it already fits in the space pretty well. So that's how you can do a basic split screen setup. But a lot of issues arise when you want to do certain things like add rounded corners or add in a border animating your split screens. There's a lot of these small issues that should be really easy to deal with that are just a monumental task inside of Final Cut Pro. And so that is where my brand new plugin Pro Splits comes into play. Pro Splits, you'll locate it over here in your effects browser under the FCB's Pro Splits category. Just click and drag the effect onto any clip that you like. It could be a photo, it could be a video. And now we have super easy on screen control. Let's say I want this split screen to take place in the top left corner. Well, I'll just click and drag that up to the top left. You'll notice everything has perfect snapping to it. We can shrink this down to the scale that we want. And now I can move this sunshine up to that top left. We can adjust the scale. And we could even rotate it if we wanted to. Not only is that super easy, but we can come over here to the right and you're going to have a whole bunch of options. And I recommend that you set up these options before you set up the other split screens. What we'll do is go ahead and adjust if we want it to have an animation. So I'll check this box for build in. We could also have it build out. We could change the animation speed to our liking. You can enable or disable snapping using this checkbox. But another really cool thing is we can turn on rounding. So I want to round the edges of this and I'll just drag that up. It's a little hard to see right now. So let me just disable those on-screen controls. So now you can see we have these nicely rounded edges. We could feather it. So if we wanted a really soft edge, we could do that. Plus you can also shear it. So if you want to have kind of an interesting angle on your split screen, you can do that very simply. You have your offset controls here, which are very easy to use. And then we also have the option of adding in a border and adding in a border for a traditional split screen is way harder than it needs to be. So this really simplifies the process. We just check the box for the border. We can increase the width. You can adjust the offset if you want to. You can add in fades. You could also change this over to a gradient mode and you can change this gradient to your liking. Now that we have the basic look set up for one of our split screens, it's time to build out all of our others. And the reason I had to set this up before is because it's very easy to just copy and paste this onto other shots in Final Cut Pro. So for example, I want to split screen this shot behind. So let's just click and drag Pro Splits down here. And if we go ahead and show the on-screen controls, I can now move this anywhere I want. So I want this over on the right-hand side. Let's scale that up and we can just use our offset control and get it into place somewhere like that. Then we could just click and drag that same pro splits to the next shot. And let's go ahead and click and drag that down. We want it in the bottom left corner. I'm going to completely change this up and we can adjust our offset here. Something like that. Very cool. And let's go ahead and do it for the last shot. Drag it down, drag it to that corner and we can offset it. And we also want those rounded edges just like so, and maybe scale it up. So that is super cool in and of itself, but I haven't even shown you some of the coolest parts of this. And that is that everything is automatically animated for you. So if we go ahead and go back to the beginning, you'll notice that the topmost shot is revealed over the top of everything and pushing play, everything slides down to its exact split look. So it is ridiculously easy to animate these split screens in any way you want. Plus, because this is an effect, we can save it as an effects preset. So maybe there's a specific style you're always going for. Well, you could just come over here to the bottom right of your effects preset, select save effects preset, and we'll just call this simple split or whatever you really want to call it. 
You could throw it into any category that you like. I'll throw it into my favorites and press save. So now at any time, I can just go up to my effects, my favorites, and we'll just drag simple split onto that shot. And just like that, we have set it down in that specific setup. But that is not even close to everything that Pro Splits can do because I have a full other split screen mode called Half Split. To use Half Split, I'll have two shots directly on top of each other and we'll locate Half Split and just drag that into place. You'll notice again we have on screen controls. This far left is again that offset control, so we can scale that up if we wanted to and move that over to the right. The secondary control, adjusts how much of your split is taking place. You can also adjust the rotation. And you'll notice that this also has that really nice snapping effect. So you can adjust the snapping and snap size here under these two settings, which is really handy. And then finally, you'll notice this control coming up to the top right corner. And this is where the animation comes from. So if I drag this over to the right hand side and enable build in, then if we push play, you'll notice that it slides in from that right side but maybe we want this split to come in from the left side. Well, I'll go ahead, I'll zoom out so I can see that, drag it over to that left-hand side, and let's play again. And now we have a completely different split animation in just a couple clicks. Half split also, of course, comes with the option of adding in borders. You can adjust the width on it. You can add in a gradient if you wanted to. So there's really all of those same controls that you found over in Pro Splits but it's designed specifically for splitting the screen in half. And while it is called half splits, you could easily use this to create triple splits or quadruple splits. It's really up to you. So for example, I'll drop in this shot here on the timeline and add in another half split. Let's go ahead and rotate this in a different way. And now we have a really interesting split screen going on with these three different shots. We could add in our border. Let's go ahead and throw it to the gradient because why not? And just like that, we have a triple split happening here on the screen very easily, creating very dynamic looking split screens in just a few clicks. Now, another way I love using pro splits is for creating graphics. A lot of people think split screens are just for showing multiple video elements, but you can easily use this to show graphical elements. And what I mean by that is if we take a look here at pro splits graphics, You'll see that I have all of these bullet points here on the screen and I want to animate those on nicely. Normally I would use a draw mask or maybe I need to build it in scratch using Apple Motion, but what I can do instead is use half split. So I'll just apply that onto there. And just like that, we have split this into two. Again, I can rotate this to my liking if we want a sharper angle and we can have that animate in. So let's push play and we have this really fancy looking animation with this graphical element. For you vertical content creators, you might be wondering, well, does this plugin even work for vertical videos? Yes, and it works really well. If you wanted to use this for your vertical videos, I'll go ahead and jump over to a vertical timeline here. I can apply pro splits onto this vertical timeline, and you might have noticed the splits are going out beyond the edges of my video, which is a little bit annoying. But even more annoying is that when I drag this in, it doesn't line up with that edge. And this is a problem I faced for quite some time. And that is where I came up with this option here at the top. We can change the aspect ratio. So I can change it from 16 by nine over to nine by 16. And so now we can click and drag. And just like that, we have a split form factor that is going to work on vertical videos just perfectly. We have all of the same controls, but now it's conformed to that vertical aspect ratio. And it's not just for vertical videos. We could do it by one by one, four by three, three by two, one, eight, five by one. So there is an enormous amount of selection just in the split screens. But what if you wanted to take it a step further? And that is where the seven different animation types come into play. When you buy Pro Splits, you get access to all of these different animations. And while these animations were specifically made for Pro Splits, they actually can work on any piece of footage in Final Cut Pro. So first, let's take a look here at Pop. I'll apply that to the topmost shot. And Pop is really interesting because it comes with this on-screen control to design where you want the pop to come from. So let's say, for example, I want the animation to come from the top left corner. And now I'll go ahead and push play. And you can see just like that, we have this beautiful pop animation coming from that top left corner. We can, of course, adjust that. Let's say we want it over here from the top right corner and that will pop into place just like so. 
Next, let's take a look at Subtle, which is one of my favorites, and we'll apply it to the top right shot. So taking a look here at the top right, I'll push play, and you'll notice it has this nice subtle fade in as everything animates into place. I really like how subtle looks. You'll see that you have several options, like if you want it to blur in, blur out, fade in. You can also choose the direction, so maybe let's change that to subtle up. And now it will come from the bottom sliding up really slowly. Next, let's take a look here at flip. I'll apply that to this pink shot here. And what's cool about flip is it again has this on-screen control to change its anchor point. So let's say we want it to rotate from the bottom right. And we can change the direction up here. So if I push play with flip up, you can see how that animates in really, really interestingly. You can change how slow that animation is. So if you want it a bit slower, you can also try this twirl option, which is really fun. But as I was building this and putting an enormous amount of time into getting these animations just right, it dawned on me that my friend Brad West already put in all of the hard labor needed for this animation pack. He has this really incredible plugin pack called Pro Animate, and I have been using it regularly in my videos ever since it first came out. And it works flawlessly with Pro Splits. Let me scroll on up here and find BW Pro Animate. And if I scroll through this massive list, you'll see all of the variations that Brad has offered you. So I'm gonna start applying some of these. I haven't really tested this out for this video, so you're gonna see it at the same time I am. Let's try diagonal right in for this shot in the bottom right corner. Let's try squash left in for the shot on the far left, the sun video. Let's try swing right in for the shot in the top right. And let's try split mask left in for this pink shot. So let's see how that looks playing it back for the first time. And you can just see all of the dynamism that this brings to pro splits with just a couple clicks. It's all been designed for you. So once I realized that Pro Animate works so flawlessly with Pro Splits, I reached out to Brad and said, hey, want to build a bundle with your amazing Pro Animate and my brand new Pro Splits? And Brad was down. So I'm very excited to announce, not only today am I releasing Pro Splits, a plugin I have put so many months of effort and work into, but I'm also super excited to announce the first ever collaborative bundle with my buddy Brad West. So you can pick up Pro Anime and Pro Splits at the same time at a hugely discounted rate. If you're interested in any of this, make sure you check out the links down below. I hope Pro Splits is as helpful to you as it has been for myself. With that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.